Welcome to the fifth and final installment on the top five mistakes that people often make when they first start using InDesign. In this final installment, we'll be talking about exporting a document, getting it ready for print or for use on web, and how to avoid some common mistakes that people make when it's that part of the project. So let's dive right in. Okay, so you've been working tirelessly on your InDesign document, and you're now ready to get it approved by the client or send it to print. How should you do that? The best option is to export the document as a PDF that can be read by most computers these days. Now, whether you're exporting for print or exporting just a preview for approval for a client, you're going to have to choose one of your presets that are available to you in the drop down menu when you export. Let's take a look at one of them. If I come up to File and then down to Export, it opens up my export window and I'm going to choose where to export the PDF to. I'm going to place this one inside this PDF for print folder and then at the very bottom here this is where I need to make sure that I'm selecting the correct format to export to. If I click on the drop down you can see there's quite a number of different options to export as and if this is going to be a print document I will leave it set to Adobe PDF print and hit save. Now this opens up my PDF options and at the very top here, you can see I've got a number of presets available to me. If I'm just emailing this document to maybe a client for approval, then I probably want to keep that file size relatively small, in which case I can scroll down to smallest file size. Now, because this document has multiple pages, it has four pages, there is a spine in the middle. What I want to make sure is that I include all of those pages, so I'll leave that ticked. And I also want to make sure that I send this through as spreads rather than pages. So what that means is I'll have both a left and a right hand page sitting next to each other in the PDF, not one page after the next. I normally like to tick this view PDF after exporting box so that it will automatically open the PDF after I do the export. Now, what I see some people miss or forget to do when they first start using InDesign is to come into their marks and their bleed settings over here on the left hand side. Let's come across and click on that menu item there. Now, because I am sending this through as a small file size that will just be used for approval on screen, there's no need for me to include any crop marks and there's definitely no need for me to include any bleed or slug on this as it will just be for approval on screen. So I will leave all of those boxes unticked. So I'm now ready to export this as a PDF ready for approval. So if I come down here, click on my export option and it is now automatically opened my PDF. So depending on the intent for your PDF, you need to make sure that you select the correct export option. For those PDFs that are going to be emailed, choose that smallest file size option to ensure that you can send it through without any problems. Now for exporting for print, you need to choose that high resolution PDF option, which I do look at in future tutorials. I do hope you found these series of video tutorials useful and I look forward to delivering more content to you in the future. In the meantime, why not subscribe to my YouTube channel and stay up to date with all of my InDesign video tutorials. Um.